What's good YouTube? It's your boy Big Coop and I'm back to hit y'all with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a book review on a book called The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. And this book, uh, it's about, um, it talks about like the importance of following your heart and, you know, doing whatever your heart desires um, and not giving up on your dreams pretty much. So, um, the book was written um, by Paulo Coelho and it's about um, a boy named uh, Santiago and uh, he has a dream of leaving his uh, home in Spain and traveling to Egypt and going to uh, these pyramids in Egypt to discover his treasure because he always having a, a dream about traveling um, and finding his treasure so uh, so he finally like must up the courage to uh, leave his home in Spain. Now originally he was a uh, a shepherd, so he was a shepherd. So he had like some uh, sheep that he was like uh, looking after, taking care of and stuff. He talked about how the sheep really depended on him to find them uh, food and uh, water and stuff like that. So that's pretty much all he knew. Uh, in the early stages of, of his life, that's all he knew was looking after these sheep and taking care of them. Um, so once he finally must up the courage to really pursue his uh, his heart desire, which was to travel, he said he always wanted to travel. He didn't want to. He wasn't content on being a, uh, a shepherd anymore. So once he finally gets the courage to leave, he ended up going on this journey to discover this treasury that's uh, buried in uh, Egypt. Um, and like uh, along the way he he pretty much uh, go through so many trials and tribulations um, he ended up getting uh, robbed, he ended up getting uh, beat up like right before he even like discovered the treasury he ended up getting like beat up by like a group of men and I uh, beat him up and leave him all bloody and sore and he was like he almost like passed out unconscious um, so um, but like throughout the book, like what's really um, what's really interesting is that like the different characters that he meet, like on his way to this uh, discovery of his tre treasure, he ended up uh, stopping. Like he ended up stopping at so many different places, and like each place ha he has a significant impact uh, in the lives of other people. He ended up meeting like so many different characters. Um, so he ended up meeting this um, this uh, this shopkeeper. And like the shopkeeper uh, was very, um, I want to say like very like negative. He was, like, he wasn't like the uh, the best person to work with. But when he ended up meeting the boy uh, Santiago, and San Santiago ended up working for this man, and he ended up uh, pretty much turning the shop around, and the shop started to have like a bunch of success. Uh, they started having a bunch of sales. Santiago made a lot of money uh, by working at the shop, and he was able to save up enough money to continue to travel to Egypt to discover his treasury. Um, also along the way he ended up meeting um, um, an old man that has like a bunch, a bunch of wisdom and this old man basically tell him to follow the uh, omens and the omens is basically uh, you know things that happen you know signs from God and stuff like that and sign and like things that happen in your life you know basically saying that things happen for a reason so the old man was telling him to pay attention to the old man and one of the most powerful things I think that the old man said to the boy was that whenever you really desire something all of the universe conspires to help you uh, achieve it and like throughout the book like you can see like that statement is uh, repeated so many times so um, so the boy and uh, he continued on his journey meet so many different people and end up having an impact in so many different people's lives and you know sometimes he ended up getting discouraged he ended up wanting to um, you know quit and give up and go back to Spain and just continue being a shepherd and just going back because you know it's not the role of following your heart desires is not easy you know you end up getting discouraged and you end up wanting to go back to what you know is easy so um, so the boy he ended up continuing to pretty much uh, follow his heart desire and he ended up, you know, end up reaching his treasure, which is uh, good because like sometimes in the book it seemed like, well, dang, he ain't going to never reach his treasure, you know, all these different things keep happening to him, but, you know, he continued the teachings of what the wise old man told him and he ended up uh, eventually discovering his uh, treasure. Um, 
So I just think the book is like very powerful. It's a very strong, uh, very um, motivating book to read. Uh, it really like encourages the reader to follow your heart desires. You know, as long as you, I feel like, as long as we know that, you know, whenever we desire something, that all of the universe uh, conspires to help us achieve whatever is on our, you know, heart and our mind the most, that uh, it will uh, come into reality. Um, so it's it's pretty much like a uh, like a law of attraction thing. That's pretty much what it is. I feel like this book is kind of is really pretty much based on the law of attraction. Uh, I made a video about the law of attraction um, like a little while ago. Um, and so yeah, uh, I definitely recommend that you know if you someone that like to read books or you know you think about getting into reading books or um, you want to read like some self improvement books, some self help books. Uh, then definitely The Alchemist is one of the books that you want to read. I, it's like one of the first books that you want to read. Um, so I bought this book out of Barnes & Noble for for $17. So it wasn't that bad. I feel like it was worth it. Uh, it's, not, it's not that long. The book is only like uh, 170 pages. So uh, I was able to read the book uh, in like a week and a half or so. Uh, really didn't take me that long at all. Um, so yeah. That's my book review on The Alchemist. Um, hope you guys liked the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And uh, if you decide to go out and uh, read the book, uh, let me know what did you get out of the book and you know how you feel like it kind of pretty much changed your perspective of things. So thank you guys for watching. This is Big Coop, and I'm out.